Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519. I am back with another ROM overview for today. Uh, two for today so far. Uh, as you can see by my wallpaper, this one is Tesla. And yes, it is a layers ROM. Uh, just because it's a layers ROM doesn't mean I don't like it. I like all ROMs. Uh, I just tend to uh, lean more on the CMPE supported uh, ROMs uh, more than I do with the layers. Um, I'm just a, I'm a fan of Sonic Dumas Steam Engine. Um, but, guys, this is a awesome ROM. I'm telling you. Uh, I forgot all about it, to be honest with you. And I was doing some talking, uh, actually, uh, with the developer of Blackbird Kernel. Um, uh, and he uh, mentioned about a couple ROMs. Uh, and I thought, you know, um, it probably wouldn't hurt to do a redo. Because I haven't done uh, a review of this ROM since it was, um, I believe, Lollipop. Uh, so... There are a lot of changes have uh, went through, uh, and I want to show them to you. Uh, first off is, of course, what you're looking at right now, and this is the Tesla coil theme. Uh, when this first comes, when you first flash it, and you first go through your setup, when you go into settings, it is going to look like this. Uh, now, it, it is right now uh, restarting my system UI. Um, it's going to look like this. This is how... We are all familiar with, uh, you know, marshmallow lollipop. Uh, this is the way it looks. Blah blah, yucky. I mean, it's white. I mean, I love the icons in that, but it's still it's white. Uh, I have an I have a, a super AMOLED screen, um, and the best way to save battery life on it, uh, or at least one of the ways to save battery light on life on it, is to go with a uh, darker background. So, uh, if you go into the theme switch, you will see Tesla. If you hit it, uh, it's going to restart the system UI again. You are going to be surprised with a jet black, lovely theme with, uh, you know, sky blue uh, accents. And, and to me, that is as good as it gets. Um, okay, let's go into About Phone. Uh, it is Tesla version um, uh, 601. Uh, the build date on this is uh, uh, the 18th of, uh, of April. God, I can't even uh, talk straight. Uh, this is for the Nexus 6. Uh, again, Android 601. Uh, the kernel I am running, again, is Blackbird. Um, and this is uh, Raven Tech's latest uh, uh, revision of it. Um, and I'm not running a custom kernel for any good reason other than I like running custom kernels, uh, number one. And number two, um, I, I do a lot of testing. Um, and whenever Raven Tech comes out with a new kernel or um, if uh, uh, Elemental X puts another kernel out uh, or Health Core puts another kernel out, I like to test them. Uh, also, with the, uh, with the, the uh, custom kernels, it gives me the option to have that quick battery charge. Um, you know, and to play with my CPU settings and my, uh, uh, it just gives, if you guys know how to use a kernel auditor, uh, you can really, really tweak it to the point where you get really good battery life or really good per, uh, performance out of your phone. And if you really know how to do it right, you can get them both. All right, moving on. Uh, it, this also gives me SE Linux permissive. Thank you very much, Raven Kernel. Uh, Raven Kernel. <laughs> Uh, Raven Tech, uh, outstanding. I love it. Uh, okay, we're going to go into the developer options. There's not much here. Um, you're going to get your uh, OEM unlock, uh, ADB over network, USB debugging. Make sure you guys have that ticked on. Um, all of your you know, your bug reports, uh, mock locations, all that is all there. Uh, if we scroll on down to the drawing section, uh, you're going to have your multi-window mode. Uh, and then, of course, if we go all the way to the bottom, uh, that is going to give us, and no, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, oh, it's in, uh, I think it's in the, the custom setting, which we're going to get to. Um, I flashed way too many ROMs, man. Uh, let's see here. Just, uh, we're going to go into security, because I know there's a couple of you guys like to see that. Uh, you have the option to encrypt your phone, uh, passwords, you know, if you guys go through that. Device administrators, turn them off or on if you guys want. Uh, make sure you do um, turn on the unknown sources if you're going to uh, to install an app from your internal storage SD card, sideload anything and install it, you need that turned on. And of course, screen pinning is all the way at the bottom. 
Uh, I thought I saw privacy on this. Uh, just like CM. I could be mistaken on that too. Uh, sound and notifications. Uh, this is the third time I started this video because of freaking notifications. Uh, so I did it. I, I doubled I, I doubled down this time. I turned all my volumes down for sound and notification. And I even went as far as to go into my notifications and put none as my default ringtone. So uh, hopefully I won't have to do this a third time. Uh, of course you have your uh, headset plug, uh, you know, notification for that. Uh, you know, audio ducting, that is a really cool feature if you guys know what it is. Um, it's a good feature to have. I use it. Uh, I didn't turn it on, actually, but I do use that. Uh, it really helps out whenever you're getting a notification and you're watching a video. It uh, keeps it from uh, dampening the sound of the video for a couple seconds. It, I think it's stupid. Uh, so that fixes that. Uh, notification lights, uh, you guys can go in there and set them up the way you want them. Uh, same with the battery lights. Uh, you, of course, you can limit your notification frequency, uh, app notifications, and then you have your advanced, uh, and your do not disturb, and your heads up. Uh, this is the other sounds, uh, in case you guys are wondering. Now we're going to go into display. Uh, pretty much basic settings for your display settings. Uh, you do have your dashboard columns. Uh, I'm actually quite starting to use them a little bit now. Uh, I just kind of wanted to see uh, what they do, how they function. Uh, what kind of changes they made, and I, I'm kind of liking them now. Under button settings, uh, you can swap uh, swap hardware buttons. Uh, you have your backlight. Um, trying to think of something on here that uh, uh, your back button you can have wake up, uh, home button. Uh, you can set that all up so that like uh, double press on the home button or long press on the home button you can make it whatever you want uh, right now I have recent app switcher uh, because that's pretty much all I use uh, I use my power button and my recent uh, switcher for almost everything uh, let's see uh, kernel uh, you guys probably are not going to be too interested in this uh, but this is I wanted you guys to see quickly my settings. Uh, let's go to the dark UI so we can actually see it. Uh, CPUs, uh, my maximum CPU I am going to set at 2880, uh, minimum at 35, maximum screen off I want to go with 960, but I don't, I want to use a conservative, uh, I want to use a conservative governor. Uh, there's reasons why I do that. I know some of you guys out there are thinking, well, why did you go so high on the CPU? Uh, it doesn't use it unless it needs to. Um, they do have hot plugs. Uh, I don't like the Zen hot plug. I don't like the MP Decision hot plug. Uh, about the only hot plug I like is uh, the Mako uh, hot plug. So if it doesn't come with Mako, I don't use hot plugs. And let me see here. The only other thing I set up is battery. I like to have my quick charge uh, on, my fast charge, and I always make sure I turn that on. You noticed I did not hit, uh, I'll show you real quick, uh, I did not turn on apply at boot uh, for the CPU. Uh, I never do when I overclock. Uh, if something goes wrong, I don't want it booting back into that speed again. I want it to boot up at its normal speed, which is stock, basically. Uh, then this does have GPU settings. Um, it does have it set at maximum 800. We're going to leave it there. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, minimum 166. That all looks good to me. I usually don't mess with that either. Um, and that is about it. You do have vibration controls here. We'll go down to about 30%. And uh, and you saw me change the, uh, the look. And that's about all I do with that. Oops. You know what? Go back into settings. All right, we are ready to go into the Tesla coil theme or the Tesla coil settings. First off, our animations. Uh, you have your power menu animation, uh, toast animation, IMEI or IME animations. Uh, your list view, if you guys like that whole wavy thing or or you know the slide in from the side kind of thing, uh, it's all there. Uh, the only animations I like are the scrolling animations, uh, which no ROM is actually offering right now. I think it would be awesome if they did. 
Uh, I'm guessing Marshmallow uh, is having an issue with it. Uh, under General Settings, you have your expanded desktop and your LCD density. Uh, you guys can change your LCD uh, screen uh, DPI settings if you want. Uh, and then, of course, the expanded desktop is pick and choose what apps you want uh, to uh, open uh, in the expanded mode, which means you don't you don't see your status bar, you don't see your um, <clears throat> your uh, navigation bars. Next up are your status bar settings. You have your clock and date. Uh, again, what I like about this ROM is it gives you options to color. Um, I hate, you guys know me, I hate white in my status bar. Uh, this is one of the few uh, layer supported themes uh, that allows you to do that. Uh, and again, that's just something that uh, would give me good cause to just keep the ROM running on my phone. I have multi-ROM. I can run up to six different ROMs to if I keep the uh, downloaded apps low. So I may keep this on here for a while. Uh, you have your AM, PM, uh, date, uh, date position. Uh, you even go, it even gives you, uh, which I love this feature, it allows me to make my clock big enough where I can see it. Next up, uh, carrier label. You guys can throw a carrier label in there if you want and color it. Uh, battery is up next. Battery status. Um, I'm going to leave it here until I can get somebody to build a three-minute uh, mod for me. Hopefully, uh, the guys over at the three-minute mod um, thread on XDA for the Nexus 6 will build this for me. Uh, your battery bar, if you guys want it, it's there, and you can color it. I kind of keep. I'm kind of keeping with the theme. Uh, that's how I have it colored. And charging animation is at the bottom. Next up are your quick settings. You have your brightness slider, number of tiles per row, quick pull down, enlarge first row, row, uh, vibrate on touch, and of course your quick settings. Uh, this is what I have right now. And this is what I haven't put in yet. So it gives us a lot of options with this ROM. Next up would be your status bar items. You can pick and choose what you want to even show in your status bar. Standard standard marshmallow. Uh, traffic indicators. You guys can turn that on or off. Uh, it's very easy. I like to have ingoing and out, uh, incoming, outgoing. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a little contrast. We'll go to the yellow. Uh, it lets me know when I have data coming in and going out. Notifications are next. You have your force expand or your force expanded notification, disable immersive mode, which I use, uh, show notification count, breathing and uh, breathing missed calls and voicemail. Uh, time contextual header. Again, this is another feature I just love. Uh, right now, I'm running nature uh, random. Uh, that gives me the different looks on top. Uh, it changes about every I don't know. Uh, three or four or five minutes it changes to a different one so uh, as long as I'm not just constantly pulling it down um, it seems like every time I go to pull it down it changes uh, then you have your uh, uh, Tesla Tesla listen to me Tesla logo uh, and yes I do run it and I am uh, I'm theming it uh, to uh, match the theme that's uh, come stock uh, let's see general would be expanded wait a minute all right lock screen I know I, I missed navigation lock screen uh, pretty much gives you double tap to sleep on a lock screen and your lock screen wallpaper uh, navigation uh, you have your enable nav bars uh, your buttons and layout uh, this is where you can actually change it. Uh, I think I've done it enough that people know how. Well, let's just quickly you just hit edit, physically move it where you want it, and hit save. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them back now and hit save. That's It's that simple. Uh, here are your dimensions. I'd like to see that at like 52. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are thinking, damn, you're crazy, but no, I, I like them big. Uh, just it's, it's easy to get to when I need it. <clears throat> uh, dimensions, uh, you can color them if you want. I think I will real quick. Keep with the theme. 
you have your kill app back button remember uh, it is not in developer options it is here uh, then you have your slim dim uh, which are basically slim recents um, and your uh, extra navigation uh, options uh, your app circle bar and your uh, pa pi control and we have our power menu and this rom gives you loads to pick from guys loads i just love it Here are your recent settings. Uh, you have recents and full screen, uh, which is what I go with. Um, <clears throat> uh, search bar in the uh, recents, or yeah, your search panel in the recents. Uh, I don't use that. I don't like it. Uh, clear all, and I like bottom left. So I will go ahead and choose that. Uh, and then, of course, you can use Omni Switch if you so choose to use that. If you like Omni, it is definitely there. Um, I love, you know, Omni's great. Uh, it's a very quick way of uh, switching through your recents. I, ba I like the Rolodex look. This is what I like. And I really love the uh, full screen uh, immersive mode. All right. Uh, various toys. <clears throat> you have your brightness control, toast icon, force disable notifications, uh, media scanner behavior on boot, uh, double tap to sleep on the status bar, and then of course your scroll and cache, uh, and gesture anywhere. If you guys use that uh, gesture anywhere, there's where it's at. And last but not least is going to be your weather. <clears throat> I like to uh, have it show weather options. Is it okay if I use the water? Uh, extended status bar weather, uh, show location, uh, time stamp, uh, condition. I kind of like the colored uh, color all icons. Yes. Uh, text, we're going to kind of keep with the theme. And I think the icons I'm going to go with... Um, you know what? We're going to stay with the theme. We're just going to keep it a blue, white, and black. And that is it. Guys, that's Tesla. Uh, you guys can thank Ground Zero ROMs for this. Um, I do have another uh, video I'm going to be putting out later on, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I can tell you what it isn't. Uh, it isn't something that's made from other than Ground Zero. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a trio uh, of Ground Zero ROMs, so um, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, um, and uh, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.